another episode of Wonder Secrets. I am Captain Bonsai and I'm gonna show you today Okay, first a question. What tree is this? Hmm? That's right, it's a Mugo Pine. And what's this? Hmm? That's also a Mugo Pine. What's the difference? <laughs> the difference is the strategy. This tree is still in the development phase. The goal of the development phase is to build up the energy and the foliage mass of the tree. In accordance to that, we fertilize, we water until the tree can take no more. If you have trees in your development stage, you want to fertilize them starting basically now in February. When it's a winter like this, it will already take up the nutrients and build strength from that for the coming growing season. And that's exactly what we want here. Especially on this one, we need to build the foliage mass on the left side and the overall mass actually to make the balance between the living part and the dead part much better. We don't care about the needle length at this stage and we only put basic wires to set the main structure of the branches. Most of the needles are concentrated on the tips of the branches and that's okay because only this way the branches gain a lot of momentum and a lot of energy to produce those back parts that we need to later build the fine layers that we have on this stage. The needle mass mainly focuses on the tip of the branches. The needles are very long and the buds very very strong. So this branch has a lot of energy and as a result it produced a lot of back parts, which is just what we want. On this one, hold back on fertilizer, we hold back on water until the growth of this year has flushed and is already at the stage of hardening off. So fertilizing starts in June and also restrict water as much as we can, especially in the time where it's flushing the needles. So if we are not sure whether to water this tree already or not, we tend to hold off and not water this one. As opposed to this one, where we just pour water whenever we think it might need it. And also we're going to pluck the needles to distribute the energy. We pluck the needles depending on the size of the buds and the placement of the branches. The branches that need more energy will be left with more needles. The branches with a lot of energy, especially in the top and where the ramification is very good, we reduce the needles a little bit more. This is the secret to make your trees look evenly beautiful and perfect for the show. The back parts that were created in the development phase have now been fully developed and the needle mass in the back buds is just as much as in the front tips. This is the result of needle plucking and balancing the energy of the tree. In conclusion, if you have a tree, have a strategy. Decide whether your tree is still in the development phase or in the refinement stage and treat it accordingly. Development phase, the goal is to build a lot of energy. Don't care about too much water. Don't care about too much fertilizer. Just give everything a lot. Don't care about pinching or reducing. Just leave everything on and let the tree accumulate its energy. On the other hand, refinement stage, restrict everything. Take care of watering. Consider pinching depending on the species and the stage. Control needle mass and control fertilizer. This way you get your tree in really good shape. So if you haven't put your tree through a development phase, don't put it in the refinement stage. Now, like our videos, share our videos, and tune in again next week and subscribe. And if you don't like our videos, if you don't subscribe, then... <coughs>